Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Victor Melcher and today we're gonna to talk about a couple of my favorite film profiles in Dehancer. And if you're not familiar with Dehancer, it is an amazing film emulation plugin and it's been my primary color grading tool for the past few months now. Now there are currently 63 film profiles, so it can be a bit daunting when trying to figure out which film profile to choose. And that's something that I did struggle with in the beginning when I started using Dehancer. But over the past few months, there has been two film profiles that I've been consistently using and they give me the look and feel that I want. So today I'll show you those film profiles as well as my color grading workflow for them. Now before we get into it, I do want to announce the winner of that DaVinci Resolve giveaway that I did a few weeks ago. And the way I'm going to pick a winner today is I'm going to use a YouTube random comment picker. So I'm going to paste the YouTube link in here and we will see who wins. <sighs> why am I, why am I nervous for this dude? Yeah, I'll do anything goes. Okay, ready and one, two, and three. Okay, they're loading. They loaded 14 comments. Loaded seven comments. Okay, pick a winner. Wade Lambert. Okay, there we go. All right, so huge congrats to Wade. I will DM you shortly and provide you with all the info to get your DaVinci Resolve Studio license. It's just really cool that I'm able to do this. So again, huge thank you to Blackmagic Design for providing the license for this. And thank you to everyone else who participated. I definitely will be doing more giveaways in the future, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this one. And now back to the video. All right, so my first favorite film profile is Fujifilm Natura 1600, combined with the film print Kodak Endura Glossy Paper. Now, I really like this film profile just because it produces nice natural colors, but it also doesn't look as bland as a regular Rec 709 look. It's very clean and it's not over stylized, so you can use it for a variety of different lighting situations and different types of shots. I've been using this film combination for all of my talking pieces on YouTube and it always produces a really great image and it's a very simple workflow, so I'll show you that now. So we're gonna press option S of course to create the nodes. I'll start with three, drag and drop dehancer on the third node and we'll pick our camera. Now that we got that, we're just gonna scroll down to film. I'm gonna select the Fujifilm Natura 1600. I'm actually gonna turn off the film grain right now. And now for the print, we're gonna go to Kodak Endura Glossy Paper. And there we go, we pretty much got our look baked in. I just need to tweak the exposure, temperature, and my skin tones. All right, so first we're gonna go to this first node. I'm going to boost up the shadows quite a bit and I'm gonna drop the highlights. Also gonna boost the saturation just a tad. I'm gonna go back to the third node and make a few more changes. So I'm gonna go back up to the top, adjust the temperature. That looks pretty good so far. Now I'm gonna go back to the film print and I'm gonna boost up the exposure a tad. And the reason I don't like boosting the exposure on the input is just because I lose my highlights and they get blown out a lot quicker. So fresh that, there we go. We're gonna boost our highlights. As you can see, it looks quite flat, so I'm gonna boost up the tonal contrast as well. There we go. Color density, which is pretty much like the saturation. I like to boost that up to 100, just because I do like a bit more of a saturated image. And there we go, we pretty much got our look. I really like everything. I just wanna go to my skin tones. So now for my skin tones, I'm gonna go to node two, click the dropper icon, select my skin tones. Now I'm just gonna warm them up a little bit. There's a little bit of magenta, so I'm just gonna add a touch of green. Drop the highlights a bit. Boost up the saturation. There we go, we are done with our grade and we got some pretty pleasing colors out of it. All right, so now that I do have this clip color graded, to save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna select all of these nodes, press Command C to copy, go to clips, and then next I'm gonna show you this clip. So now I'm gonna press Command V and it'll paste that same look onto your footage. All I have to do is some minor tweaking in the highlights and maybe some of the greens that I wanna do. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna go to this first node. All I'm gonna do is drop the highlights just a bit more. And now I'm going to go to the second node because I do want to tweak the greens just a tad. So we're going to go to our dropper icon, click this magic wand, and we're just going to select everything that is green. Okay, now that we have the green selected, what we're going to do is cool them down a little bit. I'm going to cool them down to do negative 220. And then we are going to change the tint a little bit. I just want to make them a little bit more green and I kind of want to make them pop. So do negative 11. And also you can push and pull the film. So I'm actually gonna push it a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the tint a little bit and the temperature, negative 10, okay. And now under the print, I'm gonna boost it just a tad more. All right, and there we go, we got our clip. And another combination that I occasionally use with Fujifilm Natura 1600 is the film print Fujifilm 3513. Now this gives you a bit more stylized look with the shadows and the greens leaning towards a cooler tone. I don't think it works for every scene, but when it does work, it really looks good. All right, and the second film profile that I use pretty consistently is Cine Still 800T. 
Now my workflow with CineStill is honestly exactly the same, so I won't show you that all over again. I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Now I like to use CineStill when I'm going for a more filmic look. I find what really complements CineStill is when you enable all the other film emulations like Halation and Bloom, which CineStill is known for, and also Film Grain. Alright, so that is it for a few of my favorite film profile combinations. Feel free to let me know if you do have any questions. And if you are interested in picking up Dehancer, you can use my promo code VICTOR for 10% off your purchase at the checkout. And I will see you all in the next one. Sorry if you hear my girlfriend chewing. She got the chew. <laughs> she chewing that. Mmm, mmm, that's a good pair, huh? Dude, you went, this thing, you went crazy. I never seen a pair like this. <laughs>